Rings of Power, Episode 5. Will's got questions? Hopefully I have some answers. Leave yours in the comments below. Welcome into another amazing Geek Variance Breakdown, Episode 5, Rings of Power. If you don't hit that watermark in the bottom right corner, our little helmet helps you get subscribed to the channel. Without further ado, before I take this away, Will, the creator, the founder of Geek Variance. Your thoughts, Episode 5, Rings of Power. What the hell is going on, man? There's shit <laughs> happening, and I'm trying to figure it out. All right, so look, these, these are my qualms. These are what I'm trying to again you know me and lord of the rings we we, we we learning together as we go elves at the crash site right was some elves at the crash site those look like some elves or they look like the followers of morgoth they look like there's a lot going on with that i wanted to look more into the symbols on that white elf's chest sauron has a fair form which is an elf that misleads a lot of the men of numenor into their ultimate downfall and he's a bad dude. And there's a lot of trailer covering this one particular character that is just now being introduced in episode five. So he's going to get some screen time. Adar is a whole different person. So there's a lot to break down in just right. that. See, see this is because I was, man. Who you? All right. The Southland, I was watching, and he refused the crown. So I'm still trying to figure out exactly who he is. Lord, how, how brand or something like that? How bread? Some. You had it right the first time. Hal yeah, Brand. Hal Brand, right? Freaking so, he's freaking actually, you know, the missing heir or something to some stuff. So, different kind of see what he's trying to get into and why he didn't want to go back exactly. I mean, we got some details in the beginning, but is there more to it? So, is there anything left? Got to figure all that stuff out. Um, the stranger, look, stranger danger. This motherfucker Hulk smashed, and he was doing some stuff. So again, what's going on with him? And you know the whole arm thing, whatever. Like questions, because I thought old old girl was was done for with with, with the hand. I, I thought the hand came off. That's that. Uh, Isildur, so that he's still getting into shit, and he's gonna continue to get into shit from what you told me. So just, he dooms everyone. <laughs> I just have to watch this fool because I'm I'm trying to just. Start looking at the chain of events or how he's going to end up doing everyone. So I can be like, yep, you fucked up here. here. You remember watching Lord of the Rings? I, I'm about to go back and watch all of it. Like, I'm you about to you remember just it. the opening scene from Fellowship, the very first film where they like cast the ring into the fire. And there's they that said, one no. motherfucker that doesn't. That's yeah. a seal lore. Yeah, see, so he's a bitch. Um, Waldrick. Fuck Waldrick. Um, <laughs> I mean... He was about what he was about. He never misled you. He was a very straightforward character. Yeah. Um, honestly, kind of hope he did kill that kid. That kid was on some racist stuff. I mean, I get elves, why they're getting so much slack in this series, because literally they're like, whenever they're talking about saving people, it's only their race. Elves on some racist bullshit right now. And the dwarves are like, yeah, we'll help you. Maybe the dwarves have been villainized this entire time, and we just didn't know. And then man's just out there, what are you doing? The John Travolta meme, just the yes. Oh, oh dear. So, and then the sword. Ooh, is it a sword? Is yeah. it? Yeah. Is it? I didn't. I, I, thought... I have a breakdown, guys, in a separate video. Don't check out the one with a thousand views. Check out the one with like twenty six. That's the one where I actually, I do not believe this is a sword. I think we're all getting played. Even though you can look in the background, right under Will, it looks like a freaking sword. Yeah, I, got, I don't think it is, this unless guy. it's the sword of Sauron, which was only seen in the deleted scene from Return of the King that didn't even make the extended edition cut. So, uh, there's Maybe so much to break down involving that, that. Is it a sword that unlocks? Where Sauron's at, or some shit, or something about him, or maybe it's used. To, yo, maybe it's like a key. It turns on the light, and it turns on the eyeball, the big eyeball that looks down and everything. Maybe I don't even know if that's been built yet. <laughs> like that's that's something to look into. But look, the sword realistically is just going to enhance the power of the wielder. 
think yeah. of it as a, as a conduit. Mm-hmm. Like Iron Man is nothing without his suit because he needs he's the conduit for the suit. genius billionaire playboy philanthropist, alcoholic. That too. But just think of it as a conduit, more like Mjolnir. Actually, that would that would be better. Thor is using his power through Mjolnir, although Mjolnir by itself is powerful. With the correct wielder, you can do some crazy things. Is also if you remember Fellowship of the Ring. Well, Fellowship, of, yeah. Sauron out yeah, there wielding that mace, and he's doing one swing. You see, like, six bodies fly in a separate direction, and then another swing, six more in another direction. It's like, yeah, when the right dude has the right weapon. Like you Captain catch in America hands. in Endgame. Yeah. See, now you're speaking my language. You got stuff I understand. I got it. All right. So, again, I want to see how, how these things play out. Like, I'm really curious because the stranger is just kind of there. And I'm sitting there looking like, well, if it maybe this is the thing is a key to him because you saw it looked like it was doing something to a body and so like that. So it's like, okay, I'm thinking that the stranger has a purpose. This is what's going on in my head. Stranger has a purpose, and he's got to get that that key, and he's got to put the key in the lock, which is the the boy because he found it. Like he's the sacrifice or some shit. Kind of like I don't even think Theo is like a main character for this. I don't think he's he's the used nothing more than a messenger. Hey man, personal. It's something I don't know, but somebody's gonna get stabbed, and that's gonna like unlock the latent power or abilities or the memories or something. I don't know. Something's gonna happen because why does dude fall out the sky in a freaking meteor and stuff like that? Freaking that's what we're all wondering. That's that's why our video is number one. People want to know who. Meteor Man is 1,400 views. You guys wanted to know. I want to know. I have theories. Check out the video. All those theories. theories. But right now, everything's pointing exactly where I didn't want it to. And it's pointing directly at Gandalf. It's either Gandalf or a blue wizard. Hmm. Because he is using magic on a scale that we have not seen, at least shown in The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings trilogy. And it is very exciting. It is a great time. To be a fan of Middle Earth, I will say that much. This is the best show on TV right now. Personal opinion: I know Andor is good. I know House of the Dragon is good. I know She Hulk's good. Personal yeah. opinion: For me, this is it right now. Look, I'm a Marvel fan, and this show's got my attention more than more than anything right now. Like, I want to know what's going on throughout this and see how it plays out. She Hulk, I want to know what's going on with freaking Daredevil. Where is she going to show up? Is it the cameos and stuff coming? Game of freaking Thrones, the House of Dragon. I'm just waiting for bodies to start getting flung around in episode nine. Something always happens episode nine. They better not disappoint me. Episode nine, I want a freaking bloodbath. People got to die. Episode nine. So I want to see that freaking. And Andor is just is doing this thing and is giving me the the the, the spy stuff and. That, that tempers me down a little bit. It's like cool. Just kind of see the mystery and the intrigue. So everything is on TV right now is you know really good. I, I and we showed all of it. Yes. yes we so you know the drill. Yeah. Uh, so I'm excited. So I, with the next episode and stuff, they're getting ready to go to work. They're going to head down. I think they're going to head down to the. They're heading down to the Southlands. I think they're going to run into trouble on the way. Uh, they're all on boats and stuff. That's just during the episode six preview. I never watched the previews. They show the preview right after at yeah. the, end of the episode. It looked like Galadriel had already met up with the people of that town. Like they made it out of the tower back to their own town. Mm-hmm. So that's how point Galadriel looks like it ran. She ran into them, unless they did like one of those splice cuts to make you believe one thing and nothing ever happens of that nature. Look at you, Marvel, because you fucked with us so many times, really well, I might add though. But God, no. why do I keep cutting you off? I'm too excited. No, I mean, I, mean I, want, I want to see what happens. I say again. So it's like, are they going to run into trouble on the way down there? Uh, they get down there, get some questions answered, and see what's going on. We get uh, the thing because she's going to have her, she's going to have like that, that recollection thing. She's looking for that symbol. She's going to see something that, you know, equates to whatever it is she's been looking for. And her whole sense of purpose is going to get, you know, super renewed. I mean, it's still there, but. You know, it's going to be you know heightened a bit more because she's now going to have more evidence towards what's happening. And, you know, this is where we're going to get that whole kind of push and pull. 
and with the rest of you know the stranger and whatever you know he's got going on again every, everything's just kind of converging and coming to a head so we're gonna see what's going on this is how long is this running 10 episodes we said I want to say it's pretty close to a, a 10 episode format. I got to double check the numbers, but I'm very happy we're getting a lot of episodes with this. Uh, right now, it looks like every penny they spent budget wise has been beautifully laid out, other than that warg from like episode two or episode three, the one that was all bug eyed and stupid looking. So far, everything's been very visually pleasing. The plot's well written, everyone's acting their ass off. Right now, Elrond. Oh, I love Elrond. Elrond is killing it right now. Um, Disa, Duran's wife, mm. phenomenal job of acting. And then um, I'm really growing fond of Duran too, but he wasn't going to be in my top three. But on top of that, the badass elf, his name always escapes me. He was the one who got out of the pit and is the yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him. I really like him. I think I like him more than I like Legolas. And I have a pop of Legolas over here on the shelf. So. I may need to clear a spot and be like, hey, man, I'm going to go over here and go chill with your friends in Middle Earth and have a good time on that lovely shelf, which has a Skyrim dragon and skull on it. But, you know, enough geeking out for that. you funny if Legolas is his son. I don't know. I'm just. I'm That's just... definitely not it. Uh, Legolas's <laughs> dad is a. Uh, I don't know nothing, man. I'm He's having... in the Hobbit. It's okay. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to gatekeep. We, we geek variants don't do that. That's not what we do. But before we it... get completely sidetracked out of 10 give it your episode rating you guys give your thoughts uh, comments below if you made it this far i, I want to give the, uh, this one is still uh still a solid eight i say again i'm liking where the story is going again it's it's moving everything along i love the stuff that's happening with uh isildur and uh, Otto. Otto. i can't remember how to say his name the, the the two friends that are with him i'm trying to get all the names together but i like how they're patch things up and they're, they're getting moving and doing stuff so like everything's really kind of trekking forward and they're they're, they're bringing these storylines along with everything so we don't just have like little fast cuts where it's like oh their friendship's over and they're moving on to other stuff no everything is still intact so we're still going to get a lot of that uh what's, what's that freaking the, 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 the turmoil between the characters to like okay is he a fuck up is he gonna keep fucking up what's gonna happen like Oh, he know don't fuck all Middle Earth up. Yeah, so it's like I'm I'm excited. So eight, eight, eight. That's that's where I'm at. Eight for this episode. Yeah, for me, seven and a half. There's a lot of exposition this episode. I wanted to see a little bit more action. I'm not saying it's a bad episode. It just unless you're in here for intrigue and the dialogue, this will kind of bore you to some extent. But as you're saying, there's a lot of stuff that they paid off and they're paying forward. And they're having a very solid foundation to continue to build upon for their upcoming seasons because this is going to be a slow burn. And it's been great already. So, like, I can't even imagine how I'm going to feel once we get the later seasons. I will be on time next week, guys. I will be on time. We will not be waiting on me. We'll have it sooner rather than later, as long as my schedule doesn't change. But here's some stuff for you guys to look at. I've been Brent. This is our founder, Will. Thank you for checking out.